Jay Jones here. Yours truly. Um, I hope you dig in the style of day. I'm kind of a little punk rocker y looking, but I kind of wanted to jazz it up a little bit since the talk show aspect of our channel, Girl Talk. So, the name of this channel is Girl Talk TV. And um, basically, the bit today is we're going to talk about love and relationship. And this is basically advice for you all who are tuning in with me. I posted three questions on both Facebook and Instagram and I had my followers give me their actual answers and what they truly believe is the actual answers to these questions and if you also want to you know put your comments on what answers you thought were the best or what your answers truly are at the bottom of this video I would love to see and I would love to do a part two if I get enough answers so um our three questions were number one what do you think are the most important things to maintain in a relationship Question two, how much time should a couple be together before they officially start saying I love you? Or does time really matter? Question three, what would you do if you find yourself wanting to say I love you, but you aren't sure if your partner is at that point yet? So, so I'm going to take it from my Facebook first. Um, yeah, I'm sorry if you see me looking over here a lot. I'm actually using my camera to read all the answers down. So, our first answer is from Asia Johnson on Facebook um, and her answer to our question number one was I think trust is one of the most important things to maintain in a relationship the relationship has to be built on trust before you build on anything else I like that answer actually um, her answer number two was I feel like it doesn't matter the point at which you say I love you time has an influence on how much one loves another but I don't feel like there should be a time frame when a person expresses their love her answer number three was, I wouldn't say it yet. It could throw off your partner, making them feel obligated to say it in return. I would wait until I knew they felt the same. I definitely feel like she explained, she put her answers out there and she explained them. And that's really true. I feel like if you do love somebody, it shouldn't be something that's obligated. Alright, so our set of answers number two was from Ayana Goodwin on Facebook. Her answer number one was the most important thing is trust, loyalty, and love. Um, her answer number two was time is of the essence. You say I love you when you feel there is no one else you'd rather be with. If, there are, if they are the only person you see a future with at that point. Her answer number three was I won't say it. I would say I like you a lot and I hope they feel the same way. All right. <laughs> so it sounds like she also agreed with um, Asia Johnson that trust is a really important factor in, you know, something to maintain in a relationship. If you don't have trust, you know, what is there? Um, I love you part. <laughs> I would say, I mean, everybody kind of moves at their own pace. And if, you know, you don't, you're not at that point where you want to say I love you or you don't think that a fact as far as saying I like you a lot is still showing them where you're at, you know? Our response number three was from Bobby Bryce on Facebook. And her answer to question number one was, the most important things would be communication and for both people wanting the relationship to work. Um, answer number two was, I don't think time matters, but I definitely feel as though you want to put in some time before saying it. Too many times people confuse love and lust. People also sometimes love the mere idea of a person or who they think the person is without taking the time to see every aspect of the person. Um, answer three was, I have never been in this position, honestly. I never say it, but I guess you just do it and hope for the best. The worst that could happen is they don't love you. Yet. Alright, Bobby, I definitely love how you worded this. I love how you put this. I also feel that communication is very important. Um, if two people decide to be together and grow together and, um, you know, create a future together, I definitely feel like they need to communicate constantly to be on the same page. Nobody, Nobody's way of saying I love you is going to ever be the same. So... I definitely feel like you here is saying, like, jump out on the whim, you know. If you love them, tell them. If they don't, if they still care about you, they'll stick around, and there will be a time where you both mutually love each other. So this goes back to not rushing it. If you tell them I love you and they're not quite there yet, you being an understanding person, you will know that. 
you know um they're eventually going to make their way to loving you and it's not rushed it's just there you know so those were my three answers from my facebook page um so now we move on to the instagram answers so um i just want to reiterate again that these questions were posted for both male and female followers i didn't just want the women um answers i also wanted some from the men but the men didn't cooperate with us and it's okay this time um maybe long further in the future we'll get some more of our guy answers so our first answer from instagram was from maddie underscore celeste and her number one answer was hmm Honesty, communication, trust, loyalty, and appreciation are essentials to maintain in any relationship. In order to properly function, two people must be able and willing to uphold these values. Answer number two. Time plays a key role in many things, but I don't necessarily think it should determine when a person or two people profess their love for one another. Love is a very powerful word and it carries a lot of weight. So when he or she differentiates between love versus lust versus like, by all means, they should say it. These answers are making me smile right now. Answer three. I think this kind of reverts back to my answer for question number one about the values a relationship should maintain. If there is communication and honesty consistently, he or she should know how the other person feels. However, this is always the case. Um, so I think it's essential if one feels unsure or whether their partner feels the same, be it love or like, communication and honesty must be practiced to avoid misunderstandings and bitter feelings. Well, bitter endings, sorry. I, I really like how this answer was worded, how it's put together. Um, I kind of feel like this kind of encapsulates how I feel about, you know, relationships and things like that. So I definitely shout out to Mandy underscore Celeste. Because I love those answers. Our next set of um, answers was pro was mostly mostly just a sum up of the topic. You know, they didn't like take it um, answer by answer by answer. They took it just you know their whole take on the whole topic. Um. So um, our first answer was from Taylor underscore Holland sixteen. And her answer was, trust and honesty are the most important things. I can't stress it enough when I say you cannot have a relationship without trust. Women out here often don't trust their men at all and are constantly going crazy because of it. And it just pushes their men further away. It's, it's a never-ending cycle. That's definitely true. And that's definitely, an, it sounds like, you know, something she's been through or, you know, something she's experienced. And she's just letting you know, like, if you don't have trust, you know, it's, it's not just affecting you. It's affecting the other person as well. So have trust. Just have trust, you know. All right. So um, our last response was um, from T. Bryce1978. And again, she kind of just like, you know, read all the questions and then gave like a overall answer about the whole topic in, all, in itself. Um, so her answer was, um, people first and foremost must be honest with his or her intentions. Some people meet for casual purposes, and others may be a longer, deeper purpose. A person needs to be able to distinguish between the two. I agree that communication is the most important part of any relationship. So we so often rush into relationships for many different reasons, be it fear of being lonely, or someone to take care of us, etc. But we need not to be scared to be friends first, have some kind of foundation to stand on. Relationships can be very hard. People fall in and out of love every day. When the going gets tough, some choose flight instead of fighting for the relationship. So it is important to have a friendship to stand out when all else goes away. Um, I also believe that in a relationship, it is important to keep things spiced up. Meaning date still. Try different things and be adventurous with that person. You have to keep reinventing ways to love and be loved. Um, I definitely agree. I definitely agree that having a friendship before a relationship is very helpful because, like she says, people do fall in and out of love every day. So being there for a friend, supporting a friend will keep you moving even when you feel like, you know, where's the love? Where's the love? You'll have a friend 
that will make you feel loved regardless of, you know, of regardless of how long you've been together. Um, so I'm really happy that you all did your part. So now I'm going to do mine. Um, so I'm going to tell you my answers to the three questions. Um, hopefully I sound as good as the ladies that I told you all about. Um, so, um, question number one, what do I think are the most important things to maintain in a relationship? Um, <laughs> I probably would say the most important things to maintain in a relationship is trust, loyalty, love, and communication. Definitely for me. Um, question two, how much time should a couple be together before they officially start saying I love you or does that or does time matter? Um, I kind of feel like the ladies probably summed it up for me. I definitely don't feel like time is an important factor, but I definitely feel like in order for you to find out if you love somebody, it's going to take time. Um, it, it might be, you know, it's going to be different from um, different um, relationships or feel that this person is a person I want to be with forever. Time doesn't really equal the amount of love you have for somebody. You say I love you when you feel you love that person. You say you love them and it should be something that it just happens. It shouldn't be something planned. It should just happen and you, you should feel good about it because you know that it happened because that's what you felt when you felt it. Um... Question three, what would you do if you find yourself wanting to say I love you, but you aren't sure if your partner is at that point yet? Honestly, to me, if you're not sure if your partner loves you, then you probably don't know truly if you love them either. Because I can't say me personally, I will tell somebody I love them if I didn't know they love me back. You know, because if, you know, both of you have been in the relationship, then, you know, feelings would kind of be mutual. And... As long as their communication, you know, consistently, you both would know what point you all are at, you know. So I feel like if you're not sure if your partner loves you, then give it a little bit more time to when you do know. And when you do know, you say it. And when you say it, just be strong enough to know that, you know, the answer might not be exactly what you want it to be. But just appreciate your partner for being honest with what they did say and their answer that they did give you. You know, because if you've been in a relationship, then they respect you. So they'll give you, they won't, you know, they won't just dismiss you or reject you for, you know, you confessing their love to them, um, your love to them. So I feel like just, you know, be strong enough to take whatever answer comes back at you um, and just know that love is a battlefield. And um, you might not always get what you want, but you'll get what you need. And, you know, all the answers, all the love, everything that you want out of love, you'll get that in the end, okay? But I am really impressed, um, you know, by the support here. Because, um, like I said, this is our first talk show video. And um, I have, you know, I p posted questions and I got responses and I got answers. So, you know, it really means a lot that, you know, you ladies, you know, were willing to help out. And, you know, this was this made my show. Um, so that's all I have for you all today. Um, I do, I do want to do more of these. I do want to post more questions, get more answers, give more advice because that's what I'm here for. This is what I do. This is what I love to do. I love talking. Um, I love being able to help people, inspire people. So if you all have any questions that you want me to ask and do a poll for or, you know, do a part two for, I want you all to post these at the bottom. I want you all to give me your input. Tell me how you feel about your, your answers to the question. Tell me what you feel so that way I can then go back and, you know, debate with you on, you know, what's what's your answers and what you feel about, you know, these situations because these go on in people's lives all the time. So having videos like these to, you know, help you get, you get along and help you grow as a person, and as, you know, this is really helpful. So um, if you like this video, subscribe to this channel and stay tuned for the next one because they're only going to get better. So um, thank you all so much and you all have a great day. Love isn't the best place to find the love.